Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this month's episode of Pegasus. I am Dr. Brittany Moore Henderson, Community Outreach Veterinarian here at Mississippi State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. Did you know that Mississippi State offers a veterinary technology degree program? Well, joining me today to talk more about this program is Dr. Allison Gardner, Director of the Veterinary Medical Technology Program here at the College of Veterinary Medicine. Thank you for joining me, Dr. Gardner. Thank you so much for having me. So, Dr. Gardner, first off, what is the Veterinary Medical Technology Program? So, a Veterinary Technology Program is a training program for veterinary technologists. That is similar to a registered nurse, but within the field of veterinary medicine. Okay, so with this program, what all can veterinary technology do with it, like as far as their career options? So that's actually a really good question. We have multiple career options available. Some of our graduates have gone on to private practice, of course. There's also um, large animal practice. Some have gone into the research field, as well as education, teaching, and similar programs. Okay, so if students, if there are any aspiring veterinary technologists, how, how do they go by actually applying for this program? We actually have a major here at State. It's an undeclared major with a concentration in vet tech. So students can come to Mississippi State University, enter into that major. They're in that major while they complete their prerequisites. Once they pre uh, complete the prerequisites for their degree, they can then apply to the veterinary technology program through our application process. It is actually online through our College of Veterinary Medicine's website. Okay, and if students, I know that there are probably two different ways they can possibly get into this program. They can apply probably as a high school student, as well as once they get into college. How does that work? Can yes. you tell me a little bit about that? Um, there are two admissions routes. One is a pre-admission. It's open to high school seniors and to college freshmen until they completed a semester on a college campus. Um, it has a slightly higher GPA requirement of a 2.8 and requires um, any courses that have been taken to be completed with a C or higher. Um, once their application is in, the students will also go through an interview process. Um, if they come to state and then they find out about the program once they're here, they can go through our regular admissions process. That overall GPA is a 2.5 and has the similar requirements such as the interview process as well. Okay, so if can we do we allow transfer students? To we come do. In? Um, probably about a quarter to a half of our student um, class is transfers each year. So the first two years are made up of general core education classes, things like your science courses, your college algebra, your English courses. Um, once those are completed, they can be transferred here to MSU um, around the time of their application. For most students, it's the spring of their sophomore year. Okay, and do students that are applying for the program, do like what do they actually major in? Do they major in veterinary medical technology or they start off with another type of program? So their major before they get into the program is the undeclared major with the vet tech concentration. Once they're accepted into the third year, their major is actually switched to veterinary medical technology. So when they graduate, they'll have a bachelor's of science degree in veterinary medical technology. What would you say is some uniqueness about this type of program? Our program is unique in that we are the third program that is in conjunction with the College of Veterinary Medicine. So it allows our students to work alongside um, DVM students. They get to have the team atmosphere and collaborate with DVM students in cases. We also can offer advanced diagnostics such as MRI capabilities. We have the canine rehabilitation service here as well, which is a really big interest for our students. So it offers more opportunities. Okay, Dr. Gardner. And also, as far as with students that are coming in, if they are trying to be the best applicant they can be, what recommendations would you give them when applying? So, of course, grade point average is important, um, but once they meet the minimum grade point average, we look at leadership. Um, uh, abilities, abilities okay. thank you, and um, leadership abilities, community service activities, um, we look at extracurricular activities, we want to make sure that they can balance both school and um, the study habits, or have the study habits that they need for the program. Um, often we laugh and say that a technician manages multiple, or wears multiple hats, yeah, and so we want to make sure that our student is a good time manager, because um, it will help them in their career down the road. 
Exactly. I'm sure it will, definitely. <laughs> and I'm sure it helps as far as with students working aside with other veterinarians or veterinary students. It definitely helps them out with that and with their communication skills. So with these students, like if you were going through an application on, on a student mm -hmm. and they were to come to you and ask you about more what they could do. I know you said about community mm -hmm. service, you talked about leadership, but what is there one specific thing or things that in general that they can really do to basically stand out from other applicants? We don't have a specific hour requirement that we want them to be in a veterinary clinic, but we definitely want them to have experienced veterinary medicine. So we really encourage the students to um, see if they can shadow in a local clinic or here at the College of Veterinary Medicine or even at Animal Rescue to learn a little bit more about veterinary medicine, the ins and outs of it. Um, we require three letters of recommendation upon application. One of those, uh, if they can get one from a vet tech or a veterinarian, um, it will strengthen their application. The other two could be from employers, coaches, instructors. And so, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so is there any other thing that you would like to add about the program? Um, well, I think our program is, offers really unique opportunities. Our um, senior students get to go on externships where they get to spend three to four weeks outside of the school in a facility of their choice. So it allows students to really start to tailor their degree to their interest. For instance, if a student goes through and finds that they love dermatology cases, then they can go and work for a board of dermatologists and gain additional experience in that area. Other times students use their externship experience to explore different options. We have a lot that come in with a zoo interest. Mm -hmm. And so we've had students that have gone to um, zoos such as the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans or the Memphis Zoo to do an externship to see if that's something they want to do for a career choice. Okay, well, thank you, Dr. Gardner. I think you have told a lot of information about our veterinary medical technology program, but I know if they want more information about this program, they can go to www.cbm.msstate.edu for more information. So thank you again, thank Dr. You. Gardner, for joining me. And if you have questions or suggestions about today's show, please email me at brittany.henderson at msstate.edu. Thank you for tuning in to this month's episode, and I'll see you next time here on Pegasus.